Hello, I'm Michael. I am an international student from Venezuela and I'm a freshman and my possible majors are geology and German. <laughs> I'm Amber. I'm from California. Ooh, I'm Katie. I'm from Southern Oregon. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Probably something mathy or science-y. I'm really interested in biology and environmental studies. <laughs> I'm Kyler Beers. I'm a freshman. I'm part of a major in politics and Spanish. Where are you from? Uh, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> My name is Evan Kleiner. I am a freshman here at Whitman College. I come from the grasslands of northern Nevada, and I am most likely a mathematics or natural sciences major. Uh, my name is Shanae Asal. I'm a freshman at Whitman College. Um, I'm thinking about majoring in BBMB, which is biochemistry, biophysics, and molecular biology. You get to know all these people that have very different uh, uh, interests and they do very interesting things like I didn't know that my neighbor could play the, the guitar so well. And also we've got study breaks in the residence halls so that's a very nice opportunity just to do something different like meditation or watching a movie or doing anything else and it helps you to relax as well. I kind of feel like my life is a perpetual study break. Real, I rarely go out to eat. I, I yeah. just eat at, on campus because I'm so lazy. Yeah. Actually on that note, campus food is really good compared to like, you know, okay. for dorm food Pretty impressive. I don't yeah. think I'm even tired of it yet. But like being on the third floor on the west side is really nice because we're above like a We've got like a third a floor bonding yeah. thing. The Plus whole like floor. even though we're all girls, we're um, right above an all guys section and there's a co ed section right above us. And so right, right the guy, there's another guys section down the hall. Yeah. As well. We do lots of things, mixers, where we just, like, get together with the other sections. Well, and, and you can just see them walking around, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Say hi. I've, I've really enjoyed residence life so far. Um, it's been a lot of fun just kind of getting to know so many people that live like right near you. Um, for me, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't really needed Ryan's my RA. Uh, I haven't really needed his help a whole lot, but it's kind of nice to know that he's there and he's a really nice guy, as are most of the RAs. Um, and then my essay, Tom, student academic advisor. Um, he's he's been really helpful in just editing essays and stuff like that. Uh, that's been a great resource, the one that I use most often, actually. Uh, yeah, I know, I think I think residence hall is kind of fun. It's kind of like you're putting like summer camp for big kids and just like never really leave. Like it feels like kind of yeah. away from home on vacation. And sometimes doesn't really like, feel like you know this hit that, like this is your real life and not that like, you're just away for a little bit because you're away with you know in a completely new place where you're just around people your age and my favorite classes at Whitman, Whitman are German and, and music and I think German is um, well it's like a therapy sometimes because it's so much fun and music I love it because um, the professor it's been very helpful otherwise it will be very hard for me which is an advanced chemistry class it, it's like the Gen Chem thing, but instead of one, two semesters, you get done in one, which is really helpful because I don't want to take it in two semesters. I really like my chem teacher, and I really like my calc teacher. He's really funny. And what really helped me at the beginning of the year was they have like peer tutoring sessions, which I use them a lot for chem. Like before my first chem test, I was really nervous, and they have in the science building from 8 to 10 p.m., like I think like at least three or four days a week they have like chem majors in there who are like upperclassmen who have taken the courses that you're struggling in and they will save you and be really nice and make you think that life is still okay. Um, my favorite class is definitely Encounters um, and that's a lot of fun uh, even though I am like I'm, as I said a math or a natural sciences major that's been a lot of fun. Um, I do, I've got a, a radio show on Saturdays mornings 
the radio station is uh, run by the students and we decide what we want to do. Of course there are some parameters, some rules, but it's very, you've, you've got a lot of freedom to, to, to choose your, your own radio show and to, to work with the music and everything. And in my case I'm trying to open a cricket club, so I think that that's going to be a reality soon. Um, I'm pl I started rugby, I had never done it before, and I thought it would be god-awful because I'm afraid of, like, getting killed, and I don't like it when people chase me, <laughs> but surprisingly, I love it. it is, it's really fun, and, like, the girls are all pretty insane, but really awesome, and it's just, like, it's, I don't know, this is my experience with rugby, I'm sure all the other sports are like this too, but it's like such a family. Amber and Leia are both on the rugby team and they're in our section, and it's great just to be like walking back from like brunch or something on a weekend, and to have the game going on like right outside. And just to be able to see your classmates, your friends, um, <laughs> and especially like really sweet people like Amber and Leia, uh, <laughs> it's really cool to see them just <laughs> take somebody out. <laughs> Uh, I'm a swimmer and, you know, it's pretty intense. We have practices every day. Sometimes we have twice a day. But I like the guys in the swim team. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing it all four years, but, you know, it's like a great way to make friends and, like, kind of get away from academics for a while. Not get fat. Yeah. Um, I am, however, a fraternity pledge to Sigma Chi, um, which has been a lot of fun so far. It's the way it was explained to me. Well, first of all, Greek life here uh, is pretty is pretty unstereotypical. Um, the fraternities actually have a higher average GPA than do non fraternities. So you know, food for thought for people who come into come into the college experience with preconceived notions of what they think fraternity life is. It's definitely different than how I thought it would be, and uh, I'm you know I didn't really think I would be a, a frat guy, but. I did, and I've enjoyed it a lot so far. So I think it's something that everyone uh, should look into. Yeah, um, it's not like everybody that's in a flag is like, I don't know, like, Beer a drunk or something. They're like pretty intelligent, like interesting people. Yeah. And like, I'm a uh, five pledge, and I feel like some of the coolest people I've met are in five, and they're not like total oh, party or <laughs> partiers or anything, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. I like all the guys I've met in SIG, and uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to initiate yet, but if I do, it's definitely going to be because of the people that I've gotten to know through that experience. And you don't have to do, like, that much, that intensive, like, what, what is it called? Like, hazing. Hazing. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, they want you to join the fraternities, and it's not like you have to compete or anything to get in it, so... That's much more relaxed of a process. Yeah. In the evenings, I try to go to cultural events or concerts or yeah, musical concerts. And then I try to do something different. So it could be going to the sauna or swimming or maybe even going to the gym or anything like that. I go out sometimes. Actually, sometimes I don't. A lot of the times I get lazy. A lot of the times I say that I'm going to go out and then I get in my pajamas and I watch a movie. But other people go out a lot. <laughs> and so I'm like such a loser. I think, I think the typical weekend is kind of misleading because there's so many things that you can possibly do yeah. with a weekend. Like, um, you know, I've definitely spent some weekends, you know, at a, at a frat party or at a dance or something like that. But um, you can, there's always like a movie going on downstairs yeah, with a projector. Yeah, yeah. every Friday night there's a, like a, a lounge movie or something. Yeah, they, they have some weird things all the time. Like yeah. Sometimes they have like, what, swing dancing or yeah. nights they have some sort of... Salsa lessons yeah. or something, yeah. So, yeah, my weekends are spent really diverse. Um, they like, like poetry, poetry things. Oh yeah, like poetry slams. I don't know. So you know, some nights I go to a frat party, and some nights I play apples to apples with you know people down the hall or something. It, it <laughs> really, 
you know, it depends on what you're feeling, and, you, you know, I found that whatever you feel like doing, there's someone else also doing that, yeah. right? So if you want to play a board game, you can find someone who also would like to, you know, play a board game. And, you know, uh, if you want to go to a party, there's usually, uh, you know, people can find at yeah. least, like, one yeah. party, probably more, that they can, you know, go to if that's that's what they want to do. And they're not, like, exclusive, so most... Yeah. Almost anyone can go. Like, if you don't really want to do anything, you still have people that just want to, like, sit around and talk. So. Yeah, yeah, I've had, I've spent many, like, a Saturday night at, like, 1 a.m. just, like, sitting in the hall talking to people, yeah. <laughs> which, which is fun. I don't know. Some nights, that's just how it turns out. <laughs> So the most interesting event I've been to uh, has been, it has been Quidditch, which was very fun. And I did not know that uh, muggles could play Quidditch. So it was very interesting. It was very intense as well. Mm. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely concerts. I've been to like a mixer concert for all the like classical music, like mm. the orchestra and band, jazz ensemble, stuff like that. Um, we have a lot of... Uh, There's an improv group that's fun mm, to go watch yeah. every now and then. And or Friday Night Coffee House music. Yeah, and there are aca the acapella groups sometimes. That's what I was trying to think about. We have really, like, three really good acapella groups. Oh, and um, you can, um, I think for like, what, $20? Maybe less than that. You can make them come and sing for you. So like people have done that oh, yeah. for birthdays, like they get they get a surprise visit from the testosterones. Mm -hmm. Um, because we're having a visiting professor in our encounters class, which is the freshman freshman course that everyone has to take. Um, and he was talking about the problems of mass incarceration and how we're putting way too many people, you know, in prison for way too long and what we can do about it. Um, so that was just last night. I've gone to a couple lectures. Uh, there's always, like I know, uh, a lot of times like the physics department or something will put on a lecture. Uh, sometimes a guest, sometimes a prof. Um, but I, I did go to a lecture on uh, how like recent developments in theoretical physics are contributing to Einstein's theory of relativity. Uh, so that was really cool. And then the campus also puts on a lot of social events. I know uh, every Friday at four there's a a jazz recital that takes place in one of our auditoriums and then um, there's a similar music event Friday evenings just kind of a uh, random bands of sorts I don't know it's it's a lot of fun and then uh, like and dur during orientation week you know the first week that we're here before school starts they put on a lot of activities uh, they really keep us running around um, and I know one of the things we did was like salsa dancing lessons. That was interesting, um, but, but just a lot of fun stuff like that. The campus does a pretty good job of making sure we have things to do. So in conclusion, if you like geology, radio show, Quidditch, come to Whitman, and also if you like squirrels and ducks, this is your place. You should apply to Whitman. Pretty awesome. Anyway, but the fall foliage is beautiful. Gorgeous. Except for the Sunset. game country. Sunsets are beautiful. Sunsets are very beautiful. Really the wheat fields are beautiful. Everything is beautiful. The students are beautiful. <gasps> Dodgy. Dodgy. Amber, you're beautiful. I know. Morgan, you're gorgeous. Thank you. God, we're gonna look like such goons. We are such <laughs> goons. We're Whitman's. No, no, no. no. There's no connection between. No. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.